Today's exercise is called wrist extensor strengthening and it will help improve your grip strength and strengthens the muscles in the back of your forearm. Now Jeanette has arthritis in her hands so she'll struggle with this yes. but this is great for her arthritis problems and tennis elbow. So all you do with this one is you grab a light object such as a bottle of water, can of beans or in this case a... Tin of custard. Tin of custard. <laughs> yeah. Apple pie and custard for tea tonight. She definitely part Teletubby with Teletubby Custard. <laughs> uh, now for this one, all you do is rest your forearm on the edge of your knees with your palm facing down like so. It doesn't matter about your posture with this, it's oh, okay. all about the wrist. Now hang the wrist off the edge completely loosely so it's facing down. Now moving only your wrist, raise the weight upwards and hold for a count of five, four, three, two, one. Return to the starting position and repeat ten times on each side. Okay. Two. Oh, well done. Three. Five. Three. Two. One. I won't have to shake the custard up before I get it out of the tin, though. Yeah, don't do it with a can of pop, you might end up with it exploding. <laughs> Uh, with this one, if you want to buy a light dumbbell, that's much more effective, but we're trying to make it so that we use household objects. It will be easy to grip the dumbbell. Yeah. These are quite wide. The wider grip, though, actually works the muscles differently yeah. to a narrower grip. So one of the interesting things, and this is me going off my own little side tangent, is that if you, if you do it with a dumbbell and you wrap a towel around it so it's a wider grip, it changes the way that the muscles in your forearm hold it. Uh -huh. A lot of things that bodybuilders do with their dumbbell curls and their barbell curls is sometimes they get a wider object like a towel and wrap it round because it changes the activation of the wrist muscles. Oh, that makes sense. That's three. Four. Five, four, three, two, one. So have you got your Christmas trimmings up yet? No. There's lots of people got the Christmas trimmings up. It's November. I know, but there's lots of people got the Christmas trimmings up. Right, we've already got a Facebook comment set up for this, but let us know in the comment below when you define the start of Christmas. Personally, I don't think it's the Christmas start until the Coca-Cola ad comes on. <laughs> That'll be any time soon. Again, the Coca-Cola ad's not coming yet. <laughs> Uh, one of my friends says it's not Christmas until it's start of January, uh, January, December. January? <laughs> yeah, December. <laughs> and the other common one is as soon as you hear Mariah Carey's so the, uh, Christmas song come up, that's when the Christmas run up starts. Others say it's as soon as Halloween's finished or Bonfire Night's finished. Let's have this argument slash debate in the comments below and agree that we're all wrong because it is definitely Coca Cola ad. <laughs> 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 Enjoy the rest of your day.